Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. Um, today I am going to wrap all of our Christmas presents, well let's hope I get them all done today, and our stocking stuffers. So I thought I would just take one present at a time, show you guys what I got, and then wrap it up, put it under the tree, and keep going until everything is done. So um, this is going to be in no particular order, but for everyone that was interested to see what we got, everybody, get all the kids, um, today is the day. And I guess just in case you're new here. Um, my name is Andrea Mills. I have nine children. Um, Thomas will be 17 here in a couple weeks. Asher just turned 15. Judah is 13. Justice is 11. Eden is 8. Um, Solomon is 6. Sophia is 4. Claudia is 3. And little Hannah is 7 months old. And she's in here taking a nap right now. Anyway. Tom and I have been married for almost 20 years and we still live in the same little tiny house that we bought when it was just the two of us and now we have all of our kids here living with us too and the dog and the rabbits and well you know got some fish some turtles all those things um, but we homeschool we have a home business and anything else important home church I don't know but that's who we are and today is the day to finally get all of these presents wrapped. My room has been a mess for weeks because I have no place else to put everything and I'm going to be so happy if I can go to bed tonight in a tidy bedroom. Look at this. Look at this disaster. It's horrible. Horrible. So we're going to start with Asher's gift. He's the one that just turned 15 and this year I am more concerned about getting my older boys something to help them along in life than just something for fun. So Asher has been slowly getting customers doing a um, business of yard work like mowing and snow shoveling and things like that and we know a family who supports their large family just on the dad doing that kind of work still and he told me one day that he would hire Asher in a heartbeat if we lived near them because he has to turn away work all the time because he doesn't have enough time so I feel confident that this could be like a lifelong business for Asher because this really fits his temperament and who knows what the future will bring but for now I would really like to encourage that so um, that's kind of what I worked on was getting him a gift to help him along in that business I bought him a book on how to start a business like that and it's got you know I actually haven't read it but I'm sure I'll read it with him about all the things you need to know about starting that kind of a business I designed some business cards for him um, and had those printed professionally and then a business card holder like a wallet so he can carry those with him and pass them. Then I made him a little book um, to start organizing his work so um, uh -oh. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> so, I don't remember what I was saying, but this is a map that I laminated. Anyways, that he could mark where his customers are. I bought these wet erase markers. So these are, you can wipe them off, but they have to be wet to wipe off. So they'll stick good, you know, long term. Anyways, I wanted him to be able to mark his customers down. <laughs> it's all right. And then a place to write down the job that he did and if they were paid and all that. And then a little thing in the back for him to just take down the person's information and maybe sketch out their yard and what they wanted done and take any notes about anything in particular for that customer. And then, did I show you everything? Everything except for this. This was something a little fun. These are two of those um, grabber things like you can pick up stuff from the ground or from up high with them um, for picking up trash in people's yards. So that's everything that I got for Asher. And now we're going to wrap it up and that's going to be an interesting task with the baby girl.
Next is Eden's gift, and Eden is eight, and I like to teach her about herbs. So this year, using herbs medicinally, I got her this case, and I started a little herb kit for her. And I made her a collection of mini essential oils here. So I just used my P-Touch label maker, Brother P-Touch label maker, to make little labels for all of those. And then she's got some empty containers she can make ointments and put in there and most of these containers came from my personal stash um, so it's not like I was necessarily buying anything new for her I just assembled this then I gave her a few little bags of different herbs just to start out with and she'll probably add some of those or add to her collection and I gave her some sheets of stickers for making labels for everything I bought her a new tea ball for making um, ointments. She can put herbs in this and then simmer it in the oil to make ointments. Or, of course, she can make tea also. And then just I had some of these little sample spoons she could use for mixing or scooping. So I put those in there. And this funnel, she can use that for filling up her little tubes here or whatever she wants. And these are some bigger containers for ointments. And some empty bags for putting her herbs in. Um, I made her a container of beeswax for making ointments, and that's a bottle of olive oil. I did not know how well the seal was going to be on this jar, so I wrapped it up in a plastic bag, and I put plastic wrapper on the top until we find out how good it is, so I didn't want it to get all ruined if it was sitting in here leaking. But it looks like it's holding up just fine. And then I made her a little book. Um, this just got note cards in it that we can start recording her um, recipes. But I started her out with the first page. I wrote in some recipes for making different ointments for her. I got her this little mug warmer. We'll see how this works. But since she's young, I wanted her to feel like she could do something on her own without it being scary. So um, my plan is for her to be able to put a little container of oil on here melt the beeswax in it, add the essential oils, and make her own ointments. And this is a little um, cup thing. I think it's designed for making like specialty coffees or something like that. It's a little tiny milk pitcher thing, a little pour spout. So I thought that would just be perfect for her to put a little bit of oil in and then add her beeswax and make her little ointments. I would have absolutely loved getting something like this when I was her age, so I hope that she enjoys it. And, oh yeah, and it'll put a verse on the back there for her. So, that is Eden's main gift. And little Miss Hannah is still not happy out there. I thought I'd set her out with some toys, but she's not liking this plan. Okay, so I have now nursed Hannah, set her down to play some toys. I've had some snuggle time with Claudia. Hopefully I can get on a roll here. Um, this present is for six-year-old Solomon. He loves drawing anything to do with art and it came with all this stuff I haven't opened it up but it had these fold out trays and the case itself reminded me of the ones that Tom and Thomas use for their um, Magic the Gathering cards so I thought he would like that and think that was cool so I got him that and then I made him a little um, sketchbook this is Solomon's artwork and I just used some blank 5x8 note cards for the pages so that he can um, have a little special book to draw in this gift is for Judah. He's 13 and he has his own YouTube channel. So I made him a green screen and then we have a big dowel that's going to go in here to hang it up but I'm not going to bother wrapping that. So then we got the hooks to hang that up and then Tom found a microphone for him. So it's a nice mic with like a, I don't know what you call that thing, a filter, sound filter thing so that he can um, work on his videos. This gift, I bet you can guess, is for Justice. He bought himself a Nintendo Switch uh, with his money that he'd been saving, and he wanted a carrying case for it. So I've got him this orange one since his color that we organized by is orange, and then I added his name with my um, Cricut machine, and then I made him a cover for the dock that it apparently can scratch the screen, so people put little covers on him. So I made that um, just with some fabric scraps that I had, and also, this was my first time using the heat transfer vinyl 
with my Cricut, but turned out good. And then a couple of um, screen protector things for the Nintendo Switch. And then we got him some headphones here with a microphone because he wanted one of those um, for playing games on the computers with the other kids. Next up is Thomas, and he's one that's turning 17 soon, and I'm always worried that when he leaves home, he's not going to cook for himself. So I bought him a small blue slow cooker. It's one and a half quarts. Blue is his color that we organized by, so that's why I picked blue for him. And then I ordered him a recipe book for small slow cooker meals. And I know he's not going to really like necessarily what's in here, but I figured we could try stuff out. And then I made him his own blank recipe book so we can record what he, you know, his own recipes, how he likes them once we start trying things. And then I got him some utensils to go with the crock pot. This gift is for Hannah. She's seven months old and I made her this backpack. Hannah's color is red and I also use hot pink for her so that's why I chose that color for the backpack and then we decided to give Twiggy the owl to Hannah since it was pink and then we get her a couple of little baby toys. I'm just going to wrap everything right here in the backpack. Miss Sophia who is four, her color is blue so I made her a blue backpack and she got this little blue owl named Yago and a blue princess cape that I made for her and some blue clip-on wings that I made and then a blue tutu skirt for her. And this is for Miss Claudia. She's three and so and her color is purple so I made her a purple backpack and she gets this um, owl. This is Oscar the owl. Then I made her a purple and pink tutu and a purple princess cape and some pink wings. They didn't have um, this fabric with the sparkles and purple. So we went with pink for her. And this is a joint gift for all the boys together. I got two of these rafts. Um, I have no idea how sturdy they're gonna be. It had good reviews on Amazon. So I think that they will have fun going out. We're gonna take them out to the lake Knowing them, they'll have it in our pond here at the house, <laughs> floating in there. Then for a joint gift for the girls, this actually costs more than the rafts for the boys, but I got them um, an assortment of little just things to play with their Barbies. It's got food and um, pots and pans and I don't know, just all sorts of cute little random fun things to play with. And then this set had some little bit bigger items I can't even remember. And some dresses. And then these were like some fancy gowns for their Barbies. And then some of their little colorful things for their baths because the little girls still like to use those. And for Tom, I got him this granite rock um, skillet thing that he saw somewhere and thought that would be great. So I got him that. And then he had this impact screwdriver set on his list of potential gift ideas for him. I don't even really know what's special about it, but um, it was on the list. So I got that for him. And then this is a cast iron bacon press for holding bacon flat while you cook it. And I thought he would like that. I'll just pretend like that's not sticking out there. We're stocking stuffers. Tom picked out a bunch of candy that will split up between all the stockings. Noisy girl still. Monica Cliver made us, each one of the kids, a stocking with their color. And so those are going to be our supplemental stockings this year, Tom always calls them, because we never have enough room for all the candy and the other stuff in the stockings. So that's all going to go in the supplemental stockings. And then normally I wrap everything, but I don't want to this year. So um, last year, Tiffany Green sent to us little elves with all the kids names on them so they're gonna be the stocking guards and I'm just gonna put all the stuff in them and then put the little elves in the tops to make sure that nobody can see inside. For Tom I I just got some of this JB Weld stuff, some chips, little snacky things, some beard balm, 
a book of dad jokes. More candy here. And then this I thought was interesting. This is um, jerky made out of different kinds of meat like alligator and wild boar. I don't know, it was all, it was like a, you get a random mix of meat. So I thought that would be interesting. I don't know if I'll actually eat it, but it'll be fun, to, I think. Then for Thomas, we got him some jumper cables for his car. And this is just a homemade gift card for the Steam games that they always play. We're going to just put money on their accounts. But I want to have something in their stocking, so I made those. And each one of the boys are going to get one of those. And then we got him the shaving kit. And um, I'm going to be taking everything out of these so they'll actually fit into the stockings. And some face wash stuff. And um, this is a kit to make a little miniature crossbow and then Judah had requested that they get some eye masks for sleeping so I bought a three pack so that each one of the older boys could have one of those. Then Asher is going to get the crossbow, the face scrub, some shower stuff, the gift card, an eye mask, and this multi-tool and then I got him a map of the world for his bed. Judah is going to get the eye mask, the multi-tool, bath stuff and you know all the same things but then I saw these little banks they're actually for younger kids but I thought he would really enjoy putting that together because he's very crafty and is always finding looking for a way to sort his money so when I saw those I was like oh that would be perfect for him. Justice is going to get some of the same kinds of things here but I also we got him this magic putty and a squishy thing and whatever a splat ball. And then he really loves the rice bag that you warm up in the microwave. And um, I think it's Lindsay from New York that made a couple of these for us. So I thought I'd give him one that he can call his own and use it whenever he would like without feeling like he needs to ask me for it. And then Solomon is going to get another, a bank like Judah, the splat ball. Um, we're going to take all these guys out of the box and put him in a stocking uh, army guys and he gets one of the kits and then I'm going to split this between him and Sophia and Claudia. These are soaps for the bath that are like play-doh apparently so that's all going to be taken out and then put in their stockings. Now for the girls stocking. I got even some fabric. She doesn't really have a Steam account so we got her a Google Play card for her tablet. Um, Jiggly house, whatever those things are, some face wash, and then I'm gonna split these two makeup sets up. Should get the bulk of it, but then I'm gonna give maybe some nail polishes and things to Sophia. And Sophia's gonna get the bubble bath from that um, bath set and a couple of the Play Doh soaps, and then whatever this little Hatchums thing and this Jiggly Pals here. Then I'm gonna split these markers between Sophia and Claudia. Claudia is going to get the same little things that Sophia got there. And then for baby Hannah, I got her some of these little um, snacks. 